Listen, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete 100% beginner's guide into the Weeble investing application. Now, I want to talk about first up front that when you sign up for any brokerage, doesn't matter if it's Weeble, Robinhood, Fidelity, doesn't matter what brokerage you're signing up for, you are going to need to enter your social security number. That's a question I get asked all the time. Do I need to enter my social security number? They do it for tax purposes and you just want to make sure that you know that whatever you're going to be investing in, in the stock market, they are going to require that information for you. So don't stress too much about it. I've already entered my social security number. I've opened the account. If you are opening it for the first time, there's going to be some incentives uh, down in the description of this video. You can get yourself some free stocks for opening your account. So go ahead and do that if you are interested in getting some free money. Now, I'm going to jump into the Weeble investing app here in three, two, one. So it's up on the screen now. One of the things that I hate about Weeble investing is just how complicated it is at face value. Let me show you what I mean. If I click on the markets tab, you got all these different widgets. As I scroll through, this is like the most complex, so much information overload that's happening on this screen. I can't stand it. And literally everywhere you look in this current setting, it's just as overwhelming, if not even worse, especially when you go to buy stocks. Now I'm going to show you how to get around all of this. And as a beginner or somebody that's just looking to ease themselves into investing, this is such a hack for you. Let me click on menu in the bottom, right? You're going to click on this light icon in the top, right? Switch to light, beautiful animation, transition, boom, app is completely transformed. You're now looking at a beautiful application when it comes to investing. It's so straightforward from here. It makes investing a lot more simple and uh, you're not going to get as lost in this application. So on this main screen here, let's just break it down for you. You can see that uh, this is the breakdown on your portfolio. I have an account value of $371. It's gone up one and a half percent today. Now, this is an overview of the past month. You can see three months, how it's performed, six months, one year. And you can drag your thumb along here to see the value of your account at any given time within that time frame. Now, let's say you're hanging out with friends. You want to hide this number and you don't want them to see your total value there uh, and how much you've gone up or down. Let's say you're really struggling. You can click on this little icon on the right hand side. It's going to completely collapse that. Now, you can still see the account value there in the small number below, but you don't have to look at that disgusting chart if it's red and not looking great, something like this. Anyways, uh, just a cool little trick there. You can see on this screen, I got my cash balance. So I have $122.31 ready to be invested. And the market value on the investments in this account is $248.69. Nice. Uh, but also on this screen, this is where you can actually deposit and get funds into your account. And you can see your banking and transfers here. Now, on this home screen, just while we're here, you can see my positions. I only have one investment in this particular portfolio. That's an Apple stock. And uh, the reason why is I've got a ton of different brokerages that I use, and I haven't been as, as invested in Weeble as much lately. I'm going to be starting a new series, a new portfolio on this. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Check that out here in the future. You can see my watch list. These are stocks that at one point in time I was thinking about buying. Just threw them on the watch list here so they'd be on my home screen. But First thing I want to do is show you how to get your funds into Weeble Investing and how to actually link your bank account. Because obviously, without the money in the account, you're not going to be able to buy any stocks. So you're going to go on and go ahead on the first screen here. You can click on deposit. Within deposit, you can choose your account. And here you can link a debit card, a bank account. And you can see mine is already linked, so I can just select on the account. Let's say I wanted to bring $5 in. It's as simple as just clicking $5. I'm going to be bringing it into my individual cash account, which is my uh, brokerage account here. And I'm going to go ahead and click review. And just like that, all I need to do is click submit and boom, this transfer is initiated. Now it's going to take a couple of days to get into this account. And you can see that there's an estimated date that it would come through. You can make another deposit. I'm just going to go ahead and exit this out and uh, go back to the home screen here. Now this is... Uh, really straightforward for getting your money in, but let's say you now want to go and spend that $5 on a stock. Now, if you are brand new to the stock market, you're just getting started for the first time, no idea what to invest in. I would probably recommend, you know, go check out uh, some information. I got a ton of videos on investing, but go check out and do some research into what stocks to invest in, what ETFs would be a good idea. Now, for me personally, as a beginner investor, I think you can't really go wrong in just investing in the overall total stock market. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is select the symbol here, VTI. This is one of my largest holdings that I personally have. As you click in, oh, basically uh, to search for the stock, you click the search icon in the top right. You can enter the ticker name VTI. And then in VTI, you can see the actual value of the stock, $263 and 
uh, 44 cents, and you get a breakdown of how it performs over the past day, five days, one month, three months, one year, five year, and since its inception, aka max. So you can see this particular uh, ETF, which traces the overall stock market, has gone up 200% since its inception. Over the past five years, it's up uh, about 100%, which is really, really solid. Uh, you get some descriptions about the funds here. You got the fund name, the inception date. And the cool thing about Weeble is they show you the biggest holdings in this portfolio. You can see the top 10 holdings. So you can uh, you know, know what you're investing in here. Apple is one of the biggest holdings, ironic, because that's the, uh, the one holding that I had in this particular investment account. But you got Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon, like hopefully these are all names that you're familiar with. And uh, you just want to make sure that you give it a look before you just blindly invest into anything. Now, you've got the stats here. It's got the high, the low. You can see more information down here. The expense ratio, if there is one, and all this other information. There's some news that you can see, uh, you know, what's going on with VTI, the market. And uh, it's all going to be in this little uh, section here. You got the feed, so what people are talking about too. You got options in here. Options is a different investment strategy and style. I'm not really going to touch upon it much in this video, but then you've got a breakdown uh, of a couple different things. The other thing that you can click into here is if you view more in the about, you've got the performance at a really simple glance here. So you can see since its inception, it's up 570%. You've got 10 years up 181. So it's just really interesting. The asset allocation that you have again is that similar breakdown that we saw. It's the top 10 holdings. Then you got the profile, which just has a bunch of information, you know, who's managing the funds, what the dividends are, things like that. So you can just get a ton of information on the investment. So let's say you actually want to buy this now. All you need to do is search for any of those stocks or this ETF, click on trade, and you can do the amount in shares. So let's say you wanted a full share, which would cost you $263. Go ahead and just do that. Or you could do buy dollars. I had, in, uh, had dropped in $5. Want to invest $5? All I would do is click review and buy order. Confirm, and just like that, it would switch and uh, it would it would be able to be invested. Now the market is closed right now. I'd do this at 9.30 in the morning or later, and I would be able to capitalize on that investment. So let me go back to uh, what happens after that. Another cool thing that people like to do actually is set up uh, something known as a recurring buy. So I'll show you how to do that. So I have this, I've already bought the share of Apple. If I click into Apple, you're going to see that there is a drop down on the buy symbol. And let's say I wanted to weekly invest into Apple. So I'd click on this, I could click recurring buy, and then you can set it up. You can see weekly every Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. You've got bi-weekly, you could set it up same days or monthly. Right now it would happen on the 24th of every month, but you could switch that if you wanted to. Let's say you wanted on the first of every month, you wanted to just invest. You could do a fixed recurring investment. And that just means, look at this, you got a minimum of a $5 US investment that you can make. So you could do $5 here. Let's say you wanted $15 every month. All you need to do is click review and schedule and then confirm. Now I'm not going to set up a recurring investment right now, but that's the exact process you would go through. Beautiful. So now that you've been buying stocks and you know how to get your money in and you've, uh, you've added to your portfolio, let's talk about actually selling stocks. How would you go about that? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Once you buy stocks, they're going to show up on your, my positions right here. And all you need to do, really, really straightforward, you just click into one of the positions that you have that you want to sell. Let's say I was not feeling hot on Apple, I wanted to cash out. I could click on Apple, I could do sell to close, and then you could sell the amount in shares here. So let's say, uh, you know, if I sold one share here, it would be about $204, but let's say I wanted to sell about $10 worth, I could do 0 0.05, and just like that, uh, you can see the estimated amount is $10.18. So I could do review sell order and then confirm. But again, I don't wanna sell out of this. So I wanna keep holding it and uh, hopefully adding to it in the future. Now I'm gonna go back because that's all there is to getting money in, buying and selling. Now it's just another little section that you can be depositing money into the account here. You've also got this little robot, which is going to help you with your uh, planning on how you are going to be investing. So let's say, you wanted to uh, select a profile for what you wanted to do. You could save for education, save for a down payment, plan for retirement, save for emergencies, or build wealth. Let's say I just wanted to save for emergencies. You could set your target amount. Let's say I wanted $1,000 and my target date was, let's say, in August. I could go ahead and do this. It is going to basically calculate how much you need to save each month. You could do build wealth. Uh, let's say you wanted uh, $10,000 and your target date was, you know, 
mm, let's say two years from now. Basically, it tells you how much you plan to save each month here. And you could click on start calculation and how long it would take to hit that number. So it's kind of cool just to like play around with some different numbers in here. It's going to automatically put in what it thinks you need to save. And you can obviously tweak the numbers afterwards, but it's nothing too crazy. It's just something cool that you can kind of toy around with if you want. Now, one of the more important things of this application is the settings that you have. So if you click on the little guy icon in the bottom right, it takes you to this menu here. I would go ahead and click settings. Definitely recommend this to anybody setting up an account. Go into account and security. So I would go into here. I would set up two-factor authentication. It is really important when it comes to kind of gatekeeping your money. What I've learned online is by posting the different brokerage accounts and the investments that I'm buying. A lot of people try to hack into these accounts. Boom, mind blown, right? But without something like this set up, uh, it would be way easier for them to get into my account. So I just make sure that I have it locked at all times and uh, basically want to make sure that you are as secure as possible with the two-factor authentication. So let's say later on you get used to these settings. You want to get a little bit more information when it comes to the application. It would be as simple as going into your settings, clicking on the little light icon again, and you can do explore more and boom, you're back into the interface that I don't really love on Weeble. You can even just tell like clicking into the stocks, it looks kind of ugly and confusing. And there's so much information. There's a lot of different tabs that you have here. Just not something that I think is for the faint of heart. If you don't understand a lot of the different investing terms and things that uh, have to do with investing, it just makes it a little bit more complicated. But anyways, that is how you uh, can navigate through Weeble Investing if you're just getting started. Hopefully this video did help. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. If you are considering different brokerages, I would highly recommend checking out this video here, which is going to break down the Robinhood Investing app, one of my favorites for beginning investors. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and uh, have a great day.